Hey guys, welcome to day three of Rouge 7 vlog. Um, so, today I'm going to talk about being Rouge 7. Um, I guess what that means in general, what that means to me. Um, this summer was supposed to be my third and fourth session being Rouge 7, um, which I want to say would be a record. It, the position has only been around for approximately four years, but four or five years, four years. Um, but um, I would have done it. This would have been my third and fourth session. I was supposed to be or seven both sessions. Um, so I'm still that position, but it's just for this little the mini session that we have going on. But I'm very grateful to be here and to be part of it and to be still in this position that I really, really, really love and enjoy. When I first got to camp, my first year I was, like I mentioned before, I was like in Khan and Gan, kind of mainly in Khan, and then like Khan at the time was not so hopping, so, uh, so I would kind of just move around from like different jobs in camp, and, and it really gave me like a big appreciation for what's going on in camp. There's a tractor going by. Should we wait? Or should I start the video again? Let's see how loud it is. I have no idea. Anyway, I'll just speak a little bit louder until it passes. So, um, what was I saying? Right. Um, when I came back my second year, I was supposed to be Hadracha first session and then a Roche Dao second session. Um, the reason is that like I was in the right age group and I, whatever, it all, it all fit together. Um, and then I ended up actually being the Roche Dao I wrote it out for two sessions in a row. Um, at the end, they needed me for, for the first session as well. So I did that. And then the following year, I was um, there for a session and I was a Roshida again. And then I kind of started this like little position of Rosh Sevet, but like it was before it was really a thing. And um, and yeah, I just kind of like ran activities for Sevet. Like that was pretty much all that my position was. Then the following year, um, Yaakov and Esti asked me to come back um, with a good friend of mine and be Rosh Seven for the first time. Um, it was a very unknown position, very confusing um, for all of us, I think, like still trying to figure out like, what does this mean? And it, we knew it was such a necessary position, right? Like you have the Rosh Moshiva who are incredible, um, but they're in charge of you know, 800 people or whatever it is. Like, that's a huge amount of people for two people to be in charge of. And, you know, their, their main focus um, is usually, like, the Roshi Da because the Roshi Da, the Roshi Da's main focus are the counselors, and the counselors, obviously, main focus are the campers. And Sevet, like, we don't have, they didn't have quite that same type of, um, like, you know, connections and, like, people to go to in that, like, direction. It was like, Sevet has... It's their, it's Sevet, it's their Roshé Anaf, and then the Roshé Mosheba. And we kind of felt like maybe there should be another position. Um, Yaakov Nasi felt like there should be another position that can really like help Sevet, um, make sure that Sevet feels like loved and taken care of as much as everybody else does in camp. Um, and that's when they came up with this position of Rosh Sevet. Um, I think it's like so necessary to have two people that are like mamash mainly focused on the health and well-being and the happiness of the people that help this camp run. Um, you know, we would have anything without Art Sevet. Um, so it's so important that like, you know, at all times they, they felt, feel loved and cared for. Um, not that they didn't in previous years, just there were now two people that were like like my mush in charge of that so uh, the first year was like obviously kind of like confusing you know trying to like figure out what, what we're meant to be doing what we're not meant to be doing like you know balance of things um then my next year I wasn't Rosh Sevet I came back and I was a Machal um Madricha um which I loved um go go shave it Hineni <laughs> and then I came back again and I um was Rosh Sevet the, fo the following year, which was last year, and I was supposed to be back here and doing Rosh Sevet again. Um, I just, it's such a, it's such a great position, especially I think for, for me and my personal, um, 
my personal life. Like I was at Matrichat Arova for two years and like in general I like was starting to, um, while I loved having campers and younger kids, um, I was starting to kind of transition a little bit to having like older, older um, like people that were, you know, technically, you know, my staff or technically like in Harova my, um, my Khanichot, but like we're, you know, we're not so far in age that it's like, oh, like, you know, you talk to me about what you need. Like, it wasn't like that. It was, you know, even though, like, obviously there were certain things that I, there were things that, um, that, you know, obviously there's still times where, like, I make a decision or, okay. <laughs> Be at Aruchat Esser at 12 o'clock, guys, if I even have this uploaded by then. I'll just speak louder now. So I know it's over five minutes. I apologize. Anyway, so um, even though they're, like, you know, I obviously, like, was still, like, in, in charge with my co over certain things. And, like, you know, you would come to me to ask certain things. And, like, obviously, um, you know that like that is that relationship but what I love about the Rosh seventh position is Rosh seventh position is that because um you're working with people who are closer to your age and are working with you you know like we're colleagues as much as like I am a Rosh of something like we're also like you know I'm that's a big campstone value in general like people obviously are working alone and they're on a theme or whatever it is or you know they're like as Hadracha but we're really working together and I think I love that. I love that there's like a, there's a very necessary mutual love and respect that the Tzavet and the Roshit Tzavet have to have for each other. And just to like clarify, the Roshit Tzavet are also doing things for Hadracha all the time. Um, it just happens to be that the Hadracha also have an extra like level um, of people with their with their Roshida. But um, but yeah, and like I just love that, like the fact that it's not just this isn't just like an obvious like relationship that like people have with you know their their campers. It's not like that. It's not like a camper council relationship. Um, it's much more like um, I don't know, like colleague. Um, just I don't know. It just. I like it. Like, I, I can't even think of a word, probably because there maybe isn't one. You know, like, <laughs> the only thing I can think of is, like, I'm, I'm a cool boss. Like, no, that's not what it is. <laughs> like, it's not even that either. Like, also because I'm not, like, the boss. I'm just, I'm just there to, like, help, you know, and, and be there um, to support and listen to people and, like, try and make people's experiences the best that they can be. Um, you know, well, obviously also um, making sure that camps... Um, like vision for our summers happens and that really can only happen with like a happy tzavet and so that's why I really love my position and um that's why I really love doing what I do here uh, and that's it thanks guys